everybody. Welcome to Laughter Talks, and I have a wonderful guest today. I'm so excited. This is William Joseph Hill by us today. And um, I let me now, in case people don't haven't seen you before, let me introduce you properly. Now, um, William Joseph Hill is an actor, writer, producer, director, cyber fighter, and co founder of Four Scorpion Productions um, with his lovely wife, Pamela. And in 2019, William published his first novel, Cyber Fighter, based on a feature film screenplay that he is developing into a movie. And it's a martial arts science fiction adventure with a comedic kick. This is fantastic. This book is available on Amazon. Now I have the paperback copy and William, would you hold up your hardcover? Cause now it's available in hardcover also. So congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. It just came out uh, on Amazon in hardcover. So we've got it uh, hardback too, if you want it more durable. Yeah, this is wonderful. I mean, now I've read this book and I can really recommend this for everybody. And I've told you before and I see this as the movie that you want it to be. And just congratulations, because I've been watching you and I have my background, everybody, in honor of, look, let me get out of the way, in honor of oh, William. I mean, yeah, because thank you. this is uh, a really big deal. Now, I would like you to get right in. Now, you're extending this because I've been on your website, really. I like to poke around and see what everybody's doing. And I'm so impressed with the level that you've kicked this up to and what you're offering now. And you also do a wonderful show, That Darn Girlfriend, which has wonderful effects also. So I think you're going to share a little bit with us what you're doing to help people know more about how to do what you're doing. Is that correct? <clears throat> yeah, thank you, Marguerite. Yeah, um, so our YouTube channel for Scorpio Productions, we've, my wife Pamela and I, we produce our own web series. We're in season three. And we've been doing it for a few years. We started off doing short films and then we hit on this idea of that darn girlfriend and we were doing it as a one-off, but everyone said, oh my God, when's the next episode? And I'm like, I guess we have a series now. So that's become a series. And our latest one is called Tricks or Treats. It was our Halloween episode. That's and so funny. <laughs> if you love Charlie Brown and the Great Pumpkin, there's a nod to that. And then there's a special surprise uh, off of that, uh, I've been doing a lot of visual effects with this uh, free video editing software called HitFilm. These guys in the UK, they've released this free, you know, you can, there's a pro version, but you can also download it for free and get started. And you can do a lot of really good effects. And, and that inspired me hit to, film? Well, I'm sorry, what's that? HitFilm? Yes, HitFilm, H-I-T-F-I-L-M, one word. Their YouTube channel is FX Home. So FX and then Home. And they've got a lot of great tutorials. And that inspired me, you know, I've been making movies since I was a kid before we had the ability to do it on our smartphones. Yeah. I, you know, I had Super 8 or VHS or whatever I could grab my, my you know, whatever camera had something with moving pictures capability. Yeah. Um, and so HitFilm has made it so amazing to be able to do this on your laptop or desktop or at home <laughs> so i figured yeah i'll share some of my workflow of how we do some of the effects on that darn girlfriend or how i'm going to do some with cyber fighter and so i've been releasing tutorials on our youtube channel as well so if you wanted to know how do i do green screen how do i create my own 3d virtual set and slap it in so you can build your own set in any 3D program, render it out as a JPEG if you got a static shot, and that could be your background. You could be in a mansion, you could be like in whatever you want. You can sometimes, if you got the money, you can buy these amazing locations and you could like, ah, here I am in, you know, I'm in Hong Kong, I'm in whatever. Yeah. And it's, it's just, it's easy to do. Well, I, I know easy to do, but you do have to learn it. And that's why if people yeah. want to see your tutorials, where should they, what's the site that they should go to to see your tutorials? They should go to our YouTube channel, which would be youtube.com and then for Scorpio, F-O-U-R-S-C-O-R-P-I-O, all one word. Or if you search in, and you know, a lot of times I find channels, I'll, I'll go into YouTube and in the search bar, I'll type in the name of the channel, which is for Scorpio Productions. Yeah. And well, I have it on a playlist so you can binge watch that. 
And then that, that takes you to some of our other clips of other films that Pamela and I have been casting because we're also actors. So I've featured a lot of that as well. One of my most famous ones is uh, I played a Nazi SS officer. I saw that. A, you were fantastic. Thank you. The filmmakers were from China. They wrote the script in English, but they needed it translated into German. And fortunately, their lead actor, who plays the main guy in it, uh, he's a native speaker. So he was able to, because Google Translate's not accurate. He was able to go through the script and translate it for me. And the challenge is as an American German native accent. Well, I think that you did a really good job. And what I would Thank like you. to stop, I mean, really, and stop and do right now is show everybody, this is uh, your clip about your animation project that you have Cyber Fighter. And you put this together yourself, correct? Because it's amazing. So let's stop. Everybody, look at this. William did this just to give you an idea of all the wonderful things you can do. Let's watch. Oh my gosh, that is fantastic. I mean, such Thank detail. You. Now, can I ask how long does it take you to do a project like that to make that trailer for your product? How, how long did that take? Well, the animation, that's just a, a snippet of the animation that I wanna do in the short film version. Cause I, I wanna make a short film to help uh, raise money and get a studio interested in the feature. But I rendered out all of the animation and a lot of the, it takes time to actually build all that and it's, it takes uh, several months like if yeah. you go from like the beginning of like okay i need to build these sets and then i needed to make a character to look like me so i had to model him and then i had to get a front shot of me in a profile and then scan that in and then and then map that to the face so that it kind of looked like me yeah. And then the render, it, it takes about well, a few months. I'm bringing this up because you're really also a very talented editor. And I think you should list that in your credentials when you, you know, put that in your resume. Because in watching that darn girlfriend, I mean, I've watched it evolve. And you have, I, my, one of my favorite characters that, that you guys do is Johnny Appleseed. Oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> and, and I'm watching you do that and i was wondering for a long time well how the heck do they do that so now you mentioned that time there's also a program it's called the daz program tell us about that and what you yeah. use for that yeah it's called daz studio it it also is free and the way they make money is like they offer all these like build up you know can build you can buy this set or this outfit or this hair or this for your characters but the, the program itself the framework is free it's daz3d.com. You can download it. And I've been working with Daz since about 2014, 2015, about five years now. So there's a bit of a learn that they call morph. So you can change your basic character to make him look weird, you know, and then, you know, give him a little outfit and then put a little pot. I found a pot, a 3D pot. I put him on because Johnny Appleseed had his pot, right? And it's just he became this character and especially no spoilers but in our late he he makes he comes back a couple of times <laughs> and this latest that. one is really funny uh, well i like the one where i hope this isn't the last one where he's well it's the halloween one where where pamela offers him an apple yeah and we find whoa well he's not too happy about that <laughs> oh. 
no spoilers, but there's a nice surprise in that one. Yeah, that was a fun effect to do too. Yeah, I mean, that is just, a, and thank you so much for sharing that uh, information of uh, how to do this. And also sure. for staying, saying that people should really uh, take their time and do it one step at a time. Because I do green screen. I mean, I'm obviously in front of one right now with your lovely work in back of me. And uh, it was very intimidating. So I think uh, that's good advice to tell people just to do a little bit at a time. Otherwise, it's overwhelming. Oh, yeah. Well, I have to give you credit because Pamela and I have been following your show since the beginning. And, you know, you've come light years and you keep learning and keep building and keep improving it. But the thing is, a lot of a lot of artists, they get intimidated and they're like, oh, I can't do it unless it's perfect. It's like, no, no, do it. You learn from doing it poorly or doing it you know, you then go, yeah. I'll learn this doesn't work. And then you learn why, and then you get better on, but like your green screen is a lot better than mine because you've got better lights <laughs> and, and you, you have know, a better camera too. Well, you know what, this is actually, let me tell you my secret. What I did, uh, William, I have my room and this is yeah. my downstairs room. You've been here. You and Pam have been That's here. Smart. And I painted the room green screen. I chroma keyed the whole room. So uh, this is my whole, and it makes it a lot smoother. You don't have to worry about any wrinkles. And it's, and that's my real, and the light. That point that you just made about you painted it. That's the dip. See, a lot of people, they'll get the sheet and it's fine. But the problem is you can't, unless you can nail it to the wall and stretch yeah. it out, you're going to get wrinkles, which gives you artifacts. Which, and, and I have a fold out green screen now, but even that, the fabric, with without you know when you do it on the phone the phone has limitations and i mean maybe if i had an iphone that would be better and i'm working with you know i'm working with an android uh -huh. so it's not as great but it's good enough yeah. for youtube yeah but it's what what you've done like i mean yeah it's like the 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 keying you don't have any artifacts going on it's nice and sharp it's like yeah it's perfect yeah i did i worked very hard to make to learn was the lighting because yeah. there's really a secret to lighting well for green screen and there's no way around it. You have to go through it and figure it out. And I think it's a, it depends on where your screen is, what kind it is, and then the right lighting. So, uh, and, got and also, and also too, like along these lines of, you know, learning and teaching yourself, I am in the process of learning, uh, it, it, a, uh, it's an industry standard software for 3d called unreal engine. And all of the big motion pictures, including uh, if you've watched Star Wars, The Mandalorian, Book of Boba Fett, they, you, you've heard them talk about this thing called the volume. It's a sound stage that instead of using green screen, has LED screens and they project the set onto them. And there's a software and it's Unreal Engine, it's free, perfectly on this laptop that I am communicating with you with. It's like my one step studio, like right now this, yeah. you're looking at me on the camera, the computer I'm at right now, I do all my editing, I do all my CG, I do everything on this thing. Even screenwriting to, from from screenwriting to put, to delivery is all done on this little thing. And it's it's amazing. So what, uh, yeah, that's really good. So. It's Unreal Engine and it's like, it's amazing. Oh. I've learned so much about lighting and about texture like if you have a 3d thing that's in cg it's yeah. got a texture on it that's why it looks real so it's yeah. like oh my god it's like but you learn it in little bites instead yeah. of trying to eat the whole meal yourself it's, it's too hard it's like everything else because it's uh, it's the next step up i mean let's face it with technology they say what you're doing today is outdated in a couple of months because that but you know whatever it i i that actually i don't live by because i don't care even if this is considered outdated it works for me and i think that's what we have to really pass on to everyone is do what works for you don't be intimidated you don't have to have i mean look what we've done <laughs> yeah oh yeah so that i that's a great philosophy is when you find something that works and you've mastered it don't feel like you need the only reason why you ever need to learn the new skill is it's obsolete and it doesn't work anymore. Yeah. When the computers get to the point where, oh, I can't do this anymore because I, there's, there's stuff that I learned back in the day. I had, uh, I used Adobe Premiere to edit and it was like the version that you would install on the computer. And that worked up until Windows, 8, like 
uh, Windows XP and then it stopped working the next update the way. I'm like, well, now I got to learn a new thing. Yeah. And then I was trying this other one called Lightworks, which was eh, fine. I, I, I didn't like the interface as well. HitFilm came out. I, I heard about it just blocked from a blog. And I was like, well, let me try. And I'm like, oh my God, this is, it, it works. If you're familiar with Adobe Premiere or Final Cut that works in layers, Hit film is intuitive. You go, oh, this makes sense. Plus, it's it's designed for people who want to do visual effects too. So that's that's what's yeah. really fantastic. Yeah, that'll be my next uh, plunge into the frontier is learning more about the the special effects and everything. The like you do with your show, but yes. it's it's like amazing. I wanted to ask you um, what for people that want to contact you, maybe they'd like to, to learn more or you're an actor also, they might want to hire you for something. What's your best way that you like to be contacted, William? Uh, well, I also have a LinkedIn profile too. So you can look me up William Joseph Hill on LinkedIn, message me that way. Um, also, uh, my email is williamjosephhill at gmail.com. So it's basically okay. my whole name that you see there right there on the screen and put at gmail.com after it. It's, Smash it all together. No, no spaces. It's <laughs> WilliamJosephHill at gmail.com. It's the easiest way to get a hold of me. You can also like go to uh, my website, WilliamJosephHill.com. Contact me there. Uh, you can also subscribe to my mailing list too, because every month uh, as an author, I put out a mailing list and I cross promote with other authors in the sci-fi and action and uh, fantasy genre. Yes. So they will uh, promote their books on my, and then in, in exchange, I get promoted on there. So it's a way to build, to build uh, an audience. audience and it, it's yeah. That's a great it's been idea. a wonderful thing. Yeah. Networking. It's always the wonderful, wonderful tool. And I know you, you're very involved with, we make movies. Yeah. That's a great, uh, it's a great film collective. Yeah. A bunch of independent filmmakers decided to create this group. And a lot of them were actors, writers, but you know, we were all do it yourselfers. So we're all like, you know, why wait for the casting director to pick my headshot and say, you can audition. In the meantime, while your agents are working for you, you got to work for yourself. So, well, William, I, I thank you so much for this. I have loved this. And before we go, just one thing if you had to give one piece of advice, to someone up and coming, you know, they're, they're, they're don't know what to do. What would you tell them to jump out and do? Oh, well, <clears throat> first off, uh, the context is it depends on what it is that your dream is. So whether you're a writer or if you want to be a director, if you want to be a filmmaker or an actor, uh, the first thing that you should, well, like I said, it depends. So let's just take, uh, let's take writer. That's the easiest because all you have to do is just write. You don't, you want to write movies. You don't need a screenplay software. Just write it first. Once you start writing, then you'll get it. You, then you can buy the screen, but, but write, just write it. If you're a, a, a director, take your phone, start shooting things. You want to be a DP, definitely take your phone, start shooting things, start shooting stills. If you want to be an actor, uh, it's a little trick. I mean, shoot your own stuff too. And then you're going to find that maybe you like being behind the camera better, or maybe you like it. For me, it's like both. I like to do both. And I've always liked to do both, but just uh, do it. I guess that's it. Like Nike said, they, they, they were on to something. Just do it. Just I mean, you've it. been doing it for years now. You just, you were like not waiting to, well, well, I don't know how to, it's like, just, I mean, when I was a kid, I was like not smart enough to know that I didn't know what I was doing. I just wanted to do it. And I said, okay, I didn't, when you get to be a certain smartness, you start to think I shouldn't be, I, I, Oh no, I'm not qualified. No, screw qualifications. Just exactly. go out and do it. You'll learn. Yeah, yeah, and I'm a class. Now you did it from when you were young, and that's wonderful. And I'm a great example that you can teach an old dog new tricks. And you can just jump in there with the youngins and have a ball. That's what I'm doing. And I appreciate you. And I thank you so much, William, for being here and continued success. And everybody go on to Amazon and get the book, the audio book, the hardcover. See, we have them right here. Yeah. And go pick them up because this is a brilliant story. And it's a fun. It's fun. It creates a visual image in your head immediately. And you're also a martial arts expert. Let's just give a shout out to that. You do all that stuff. That's part of your, your uh, resume. 
Yeah, but, thank you. Yeah, I've been doing it most of my life. And in, in the book, in the story, my, the main character learns it in three days because it's pro programmed into his head. So there is where the fantasy element happens. Yeah. And I love that. I love that because it brings you into the story that, hey, everybody can have this happen. It's wonderful. It's perfect. So I thank you. Now stay healthy. My best to, to uh, your lovely wife, Pamela. Thank and I'll you. see you again soon. And everybody out there, protect your immune system. It's only one per customer. Bye, William. Have a great day. Bye, you too. Take care, everyone.